Will Ukraine crisis lead to World War III? This is the discussion's topic that we will discuss this evening. So to discuss this issue, we have a spokesperson from Russia, Ms. Nelly. We have a spokesperson from US, Sonam, and a spokesperson from, from EU, Juliet. Welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you. To begin with, let me reiterate our statement. Will Ukraine crisis lead to World War III? What's your take on it? I think, no, there is nothing about World War III. This is an internal question inside the country and Ukraine has to solve it inside the country. Maybe international, not maybe. Uh, I, I think international, commun international community can support Ukraine to solve this issue, this problem. Well, but the whole world is pointing finger at Russia for I mean, making the situation worse in Ukraine. Yes, yes, everybody is blaming Russia, but I don't think that this is true. Russia is concerned about this problem as well, because we have been neighbors for a long time with Ukrainians. They are our brothers. We have a lot of Russian-speaking people, Russians, ethnic Russians in Ukraine. And uh, we don't want to make worse their life there in Ukraine. We want just to support and protect them, nothing else. Juliet, the Russia is just concerned and, and protecting the people in, in Ukraine and this, they are just trying to calm down the situation. Do you agree? No, I think there's more to just protecting ordinary citizens than um, they're going in. I think there's more to it. And for me, I see it from different angles. One, from um, they providing Europe with 30% of gas supply and giving um, Ukraine even virtually free gas, that is where I see the problem is coming from. But from the European Union perspective, as per the international laws, it has no right, that's Russia, to interfere in an independent state and that is exactly what they are doing. I'll get back to Nelly for the international law and interference. Before that, I would like to ask a spokesperson from uh, US. Um, What's your take on our statement? Uh, yes, the White House feels uh, that uh, the Russian interference in Ukraine uh, is uh, the Russians are using wrong approach to interfere in Ukraine because uh, the, the issue happening in Ukraine is a civil war and uh, Ukraine, uh, Russia has no right to interfere. Let me ask, and if, if it is so, then the people, I mean, have already criticized a lot to U.S. being so soft on this issue, especially to Russia. Mm -hmm. Why is it so? Yes, uh, you, lately you has been, uh, the, uh, uh, lately the U.S. has been criticized for being uh, very soft on Russia, and also for, uh, uh, the our brother, the European brothers, they have suggested that U.S. should uh, provide weapons uh, to the Ukrainians for self-defense. But uh, uh, the U.S. feel, the White House feel, right now the only option we have is to wait and warn Russia about the consequences. Because interfering into an independent nation's uh, sovereign independence is a global crime and it's against international law. So and yes, let, and then, let me come to yes, all U.S. can do right now is uh, Barack Obama, uh, the President Putin, has called uh, our president, Barack Obama, on Monday. So they spoke over the phone. And uh, Obama has warned uh, the Russian president to remove, withdraw the army uh, well, from the eastern uh, region of Ukraine. Yeah, but well, let, 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 me, let, let, me, let, me, let me put in put, put. a word. With, um, if you have militant, humiliating um, government, if you have militant seizing um, government vehicles and dispatching them to clear out, from their own country, what does that mean? Is that not interference? That is not supporting them. How, how do you, I mean, they mm. are saying that um, Russia is interfering, breaking the international laws. How do you clarify? I can just ask, where are the Russian troops? Where? You, in Ukraine, where? We see them on we see them on TV. Reports are there. We've got eyewitnesses. This is only the news. Story. See, this is we, we this is a simulation of information. Because Vladimir Putin always all he does is press conferences and addressing yes, the nation. Yes, he wants to answer questions yes, because people are warned. He they should think have that the, Russia I'm sure is he's interfering. He's the best person uh, to know the situation on the ground, but he keeps 
line after the other and but, he is not resolving any issue but for I can me, say no. the same about Ukrainian government they are lying because they are they don't they don't go and speak to uh, ordinary people Russian speaking people they are frightened yes exactly and they need support yes, 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 because exactly, government yes. doesn't speak to them doesn't talk to yes, them yes exactly we feel uh, the the crisis in Ukraine is a civil civil war. It's within the yes. nation and Russia has no right to interfere. Well, There's the European no Union yes. wants them to remove, yes, yes. Russia to remove yes. their troops yes. from Ukraine. Do you have and another troops in, 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 uh, Eastern, in, in, Eastern Ukraine, you mean? Yes. Everybody is blaming us. No. Our president, Russian president, Vladimir Putin, uh, Putin pronounced, uh, announced it literally an hour ago during the press conference there is no Russian units in eastern Ukraine. This is only incorrect information. This is propaganda. What is the nothing proof, then? else. What is nothing the proof? else. I can say what well, our it was president good. It was good he had, he had that press conference. But later um, this evening, there will be key um, meeting also with top diplomats from Ukraine. Yes, and I also hope, from uh, Russia. They are meeting in Geneva for the first time. And will yes, be accompanied by I, European I hope, Union. I so I'm sure they will be able to... Um, trash up all these issues because failure to do so will mean that um, Russia is going to face new and severe sanctions from European Union. I hope. What 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 kind of support from from EU to calm down such situations? I mean, being initiated. Well, we've 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 had several meetings, and all that we are asking for, human lives are at stake. And tension, a lot of tension in the country, and you not know where the next is going to spread to the next because we've got um, the Baltic states also just around Ukraine. Although this is happening in the eastern part of Ukraine, we've got the Baltic state that is um, Latvia, um, Estonia, and also um, Lithuania just closer to them. So we are, don't know where or this is going and where it's going to spread to. So the earlier we stop it, this the is better. only thoughts. This is only thoughts. There is nothing based on truth. Russia for peace talk. We hope that the talks in Geneva will help and Ukraine can solve the problem. Basically, uh, the White House feels it's uh, Russia is just uh, power hungry and they playing some diplomatic games and then it's the civil, uh, the innocent civilians who are suffering. Going to moment. suffer exactly. To, to end the discussions, let me put it, uh, let, let us have it in one statement. Uh, will the I mean, Ukraine crisis lead to a World War III? Well, with cooperation and support from wise leaders like Putin, there, there will definitely be no, uh, we will definitely no, not see another World War. Rashi, nearly what do you say? We are for peace talks and we hope that there would be no war, no civil war. No World War III. Juliet, your last statement. Well, for me, I think from the European Union, the failure um, for Russia to withdraw their troops from Ukraine could lead to very like grave crisis and also possibly World War III. Thank you so much. Thank you. Will Ukraine crisis lead to World War III is still a question mark. And hope our viewers enjoyed our discussion this evening. Thank you so much for watching.